Hi there folks, Rich here, hope you're doing very well today. So what we're going to look today is the chord track and how we can flesh out an existing piece of music that we've already recorded. This is really easy in Studio One. What we would actually be doing here is detecting the chords. We can drag those chords directly to a new instrument track or to the chord arranger. If we go to the top here, we can see that there's this little button here. And when we hover over it, it says Global Track Visibility. This gives us option to a number of different things, such as the ruler, marker, arranger, chords, signature and tempo tracks. And so on. Now, if you're seeing this menu and you'd prefer to see them all, if we just extend this out a little bit, we can see that all of them are available to us there. And this is really just to save on space. So what we want to do is we want to actually open up the chord track. We'll open up the chord track and what we'll do is we'll take this loop here. This loop is from the sphere. It's in A major, which is usefully key labeled for us. But if we simply drag this into the chords track, it will give us the chords available to us. We can see this here. That's E and A. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually have a look at adding in an instance of presence. So again, just dragging and dropping that in. I'll go to a preset here and I'll select something from the piano section, such as the ballad piano. We'll load the ballad piano in and we'll just close that for the moment. We'll highlight the chord track and drag it down into the arranger. As we can see, this is populating the chords for us. And we'll hear what it sounds like with the new piano part played in. So this is extremely useful. If we wanted to add a little bit more rhythm into this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the G to glue everything together. I'm going to double click into that event and it's going to bring up the piano roll. So inside the piano roll, we can see the notes have been written in for us. And this is really, really handy. But what I'd like to do is just add a little bit more rhythmic variation. I won't do too much here, but I'll select all of the notes there. I'll select the knife tool. I'll split that there. We'll move over and we'll do the same thing over here. Highlight those, use the knife tool. And let's see what we've got. Okay, so now that we've done that, Let's do something a little bit extra as well. Let's close this out. Let's go over to the inspector. And what we've got underneath here is something called note effects. We're going to click the little plus symbol and we're going to select arpeggiator. When we select arpeggiator, what we're going to have available to us is this little guy here. This can be really useful. We'll solo that out so we can just hear presence on its own. We can select pattern and we can adjust the velocities. What we can also do here is we can select the octave range so we can go up and down by two octaves and we can also change the speed So there you go, there's a quick way to get ideas and flesh them out nice and quickly by using both the chords track, some note effects and 
a slight bit of editing in the piano roll. I hope that's useful for you. Enjoy making music and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.